Yo, what's up everyone? My name's Dave and you suck at programming and today we're gonna learn about brace expansion in Bash. All right, you might be asking yourself, what is brace expansion? Well, brace yourselves, because we're gonna find out. All right, let's take a look. Let's see what we have here. Okay, we have six simple scripts. We're gonna start with the first one. This one's called simple. This one is just dipping your toes into it. So as you can see here, we have a Bash script and then we echo hello comma world and we have that in curly braces. So what's gonna happen when we print that? Well, when we print it, we get Hello, space, world. The curly braces go away, the comma became a space. How did that work? Well, hello, comma, world got broken by bash into two separate arguments to echo, and then echo ran with two arguments, hello and world. So echo separated them by a space, and that's why we have two different words coming out of here without the curly braces, without the commas. That's what happened. So let's go into 01. Here's the next example. As you can see, we have the same exact thing, but this time it's in quotes. So what's going to happen now? we get exactly what we put in quotes, all right? So brace expansion only works if it's outside of quotes. If you put it in quotes, the braces won't be expanded. They'll just get treated as literal braces and they'll be printed to the screen like that. So what else do we have? We have files. So as you can see, this is super useful if we have file names. So like my file dot text comma JPEG comma movie. Say we have something where we have like a file, maybe like a YouTube video where we have a text description, a JPEG for the thumbnail and the MOV file for the actual movie file. But well, we can run this and when we print it, we get those three different files. We've kind of expanded into three different things. Here's an important note. These files don't have to exist. Brace expansion is not globbing. It's not looking on the file system. It's not checking to see if they exist. These are just strings. There's nothing special about them. We think of them as file names, but they are just strings to bash, okay? Really important to note that. So what else do we have? Well, we can put file names in a variable. So you might be asking yourself, well, if we can't quote it, what can we do? Well, here we have a file name called my hyphen file. We can quote the variable expansion. We can even put more stuff in here and add on to the string. We just have to close the quotes before we get to the brace expansion. This is very important. So if we run this, you can see we'll get the same output. So there you go, brace expansion works how you expect it. We can also, this part's gonna get a little complicated, bear with me. We can have the file name here, my hyphen file, and then we can put that thing into an array. So open a parenthesis and close a parenthesis is how you make an array in bash. Quote, file name dot, and then the brace expansion here, and we have that in array. Then. We can just use normal array syntax to loop over them and echo each one. So if we run this, we get, there you go. Look at that. We looped over the array and all the file names were stored in the array. So the last thing here is getting really complicated. We can group it all together and we can have something like this. So this is exactly what we saw before. We looped over the array. So at the top, we're going to make an array here. And inside the array, we're going to have slash Etsy slash foobarbaz slash one, two, three dot text. So we have two different brace expansions. We're going to print the number of items in the array and then we're gonna print out what's in the array. So bonus points if you already know what's gonna happen here, but bam, there you go, nine items. Foo, one, two, three, bar, one, two, three, baz, one, two, three. And if you're wondering why did we get nine, that's because we had three expansions here and three expansions here. Three times three is nine. There you go, that's brace expansion in bad.